Hey, this is Dr. K from the Center for Functional Health and welcome to another 5 to 1 series. In this series, we're going to focus on the quadruped maneuver. This is a great maneuver to do to strengthen the cervical spine, the neck, the thoracic spine, the area between the shoulder blades, and the lumbar spine, your lower back. Great maneuver to do if you're sitting all day in front of a computer, if you suffer with lower back pain, if you suffer with a lot of tension through your neck and your upper quarter, this region in here. So we're first going to show you the exercise. Now, normally with a 5 to 1 series, we have five different exercises, but this time we're just focusing on the quadruped maneuver. So some things you need to know. You don't want to extend your head back like this because you irritate your cervical spine. When you reach, you're going to reach in front like this. When you do that, you don't come all the way up here. You want to maintain this linear plane here. Now, some people, when they have a shoulder problem, they can only reach here, and that's okay. Some are better. They can reach here. That's great. Same thing with the legs. When you extend your leg back, you don't want to extend your leg up. So we're not doing like a fire hydrant maneuver where you're extending your leg up like that because if you do that, you're going to irritate your sacral joint. So when you go back, you make sure that the leg is just toe just a little bit off the ground. Notice how we're not up here. We're this way here. It's not to irritate the sacrum. And I'm bringing my toe up so I'm getting a stretch in my calf. All right, so that's the basis. I'll talk about some other tips along the way. So we're going to do five of these to begin with. So we're going to reach nice and easy, back nice and easy. So you don't have to go really hard, just letting it warm up. Now we do opposite arm, opposite leg. And I like to go to the side, opposite arm, opposite leg. Wonderful maneuver to do for your wing bones. So that's one. So we're going to start over again. This is number two. Reaching back with my leg, stretching that back, nice and easy. Opposite arm, opposite leg. And then to the sides. Notice we're not looking up. Nose down. There's a tendency to bring that head up. I'm going to do number three now. So I reach. Reach, extend the leg back, bring that toe up, opposite arm, opposite leg, and this is where the balance and the core really comes into play, and to the sides. Okay, on to number four. So you're going to reach, reach, extend the leg back, extend the leg back, opposite arm, opposite leg, and then to the sides. And now we'll do number five. Again, make sure, reposition if you have to, make sure you're balanced. You're going to reach, extend the legs back, get that nice stretch, opposite arm, opposite leg, and then to the sides. All right, so that was five. So we're going to do the same thing again, and we're going to do fours this time. So the goal here is to do four rounds of this one. So again, make sure that you're set. You're going to reach and reach. You're going to extend that leg back, bring that toe up so you get a nice stretch in your calf, squeeze that front thigh, nice and easy, and then opposite arm, opposite leg. Reach, reach, and to the side. Out and out. This is number two. Again, reposition, make sure that your neck feels comfortable. Don't extend up. Reach, reach, extend back, extend back. Opposite arm, opposite leg. This is number two, and then to the sides. Now we'll do three. Reach, reach, extend, extend, opposite arm, opposite leg, hold it, opposite arm, opposite leg, hold it, to the sides. And now the last one in this round, make sure that you reposition again, notice we're not rushing into it, reach, reach, extend back your leg, bring that toe up, get a good stretch in that calf. Get set, opposite arm, opposite leg, to the sides. 
done? Reset. So we did five, we did four. This round we're going to do three. Again, notice how every time I come back I set, I don't look up, make sure that my nose is down, my eyes are down, and I'm going to reach. Now when I'm reaching and I lift up, I'm pushing this hand in the ground. One, one, stretch that back, and the opposite arm, opposite leg, to the sides, that's one. Now we're going to do another one. So you reach, you reach, extend that leg back, get a nice full extension, opposite arm, opposite leg, to the sides. The sides are great, great move to do for right between the shoulder blades. And our last one. We'll do something a little bit different on this one. So again, reposition. You're going to reach, reach, extend the leg back, extend the leg back, opposite arm, opposite leg. You're going to hold that, hold that. And what we're going to do different this one is opposite arm, opposite leg to the side, bring the elbow up, bring the elbow up. All right, that was number three. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do twos. So it's getting a little bit faster now, but you're not going to move fast. You're going to hold it actually a little bit longer. So reach, reach, hold, get a nice stretch. Opposite arm, opposite leg. I want you to stick it this time. And to the side, let's do what we did before. Good. One more round. So we're going to reach, reach, extend the leg back, squeeze that front thigh muscle, nice and easy, opposite arm, opposite leg, and do another one, to the side, to the side, all right? That's two, and we're finishing up with one. Now, in this last one, we're going to make sure that we're really contracting the muscles, making the muscle tight that we want to regarding the glutes and the upper back area. Okay, so here we go. So nose down, reset, neck in this good position, and you're gonna reach, holding it. So I'm pushing down with my opposite hand into the ground. That's tightening my chest. Switch, hold, good. And now leg, so my leg is back. Remember, we're not up, we're back this way. And my toe is up, stretching that calf and squeezing my front thigh muscle. Nice and easy. Opposite arm, opposite leg. I want you to really stick it down. Hold. Hold. And the last maneuver to the side. Hold. And hold. And that's it. You're done. So another five-one series. This one is focusing on quadruped. See you soon.